But one of the things I know for sure as artists is, you know, we talk about we want to sell our work or we want to license our work, however that's going to look to us. But we do spend a fair amount of time hiding from that activity. Things like, oh, if I just have one or two more uh, portfolio pieces done, oh, I need six more portfolio pieces, whatever that is. Sometimes we hide in the portfolio. Sometimes we hide by tweaking our website where we don't feel like it's ready to go out into the world. So, oh, if I just do a few more tweaks or whatever, um, that we're hiding there where we could be spending that time actually reaching out to people that could give us money eventually. So you have to really kind of uncover sometimes those places where you hide. Research is a huge hiding place. I just need to research more companies. I just need to research more stuff. And all of those things are important to do. You have to work on your portfolio. You have to have a decent, minimally decent website. You don't have to have the most amazing website ever, ever, ever. A website that does the job, but it doesn't have to do more than that. And you have to do research. All of those things are important, but you always have to ask yourself, am I hiding here? The other thing is people hide in taking classes. Like a, one more class, one more class, and then it'll all work. And then I'll have the courage or the whatever it is to go out and talk to people. But just ask yourself, am I hiding here? Or is this real active activity that's going to bring me somewhere? And if it is, you need to put time limits on that as opposed to just this endless cycle of hiding in those places. And some days, I'm good with just hiding. And sometimes that looks like painting. Sometimes it's research or whatever that might be. It's okay to do that sometimes, but make sure that that is not stopping you from reaching the goals that you want to reach.